Hey guys, wanted to give you a kind of hands-on review of the uh, TicWatch Pro 3 GPS. Um, overall, I've been very pleased. I had it a couple of weeks, and um, yeah, I thought the size was going to be a little large for me. Just for reference, my previous watch that I've used for a couple of years now, I've been really happy with is the Maz, Mazfit BIP. And uh, you can see it there for comparison. This is actually a really small watch. Um, so yes, it is larger, but it's not overly large on, on my wrist. Um, what I love about the Mazfib is the, the battery lasts just uh, weeks and weeks, um, whereas this uh, tick watch is um, hybrid, so the battery does last less than a few days, um, so at least it's not every night charging it up. Um, you can see some basic information on here right now, the date, time. I do like when you're um, tracking an activity, it'll show uh, a little more information, your heart rate and um, the distance traveled, uh, your per minute. Or, uh, time minutes per mile and all that. Um, it's pretty responsive. You use the new um, processor, which really helps with performance. A lot of people complain about other ones. Just for reference, the screen is really nice and crisp too. A lot nicer screen than the MS Fit BIP here. Um, and uh, I'll go into um, some of the apps. Uh, really smooth. You can, set, you can change these tiles. Um, you can hear the full list of apps. Um, the exercise one, the tick exercise app, I generally use Strava, um, but um, I've been using this one and it um, actually does quite well. Um, you can start an activity, it'll do the GPS. Also finds the GPS very quickly on the, on the BIP. Um, it usually takes 30, 60, 90 seconds to find, get a GPS, but this one's always very quick um, to find the GPS. Um, and uh, let's see. Um, been playing around with some of these um, included applications. This oxygen one is pretty interesting, especially now in the COVID era. Uh, right now, it's not on my watch, so it won't um, so it won't uh, get anything. But here it shows kind of the history, and it kind of keeps track of that um, every um, couple hours. I think it'll do a measuring, um, so it has that record, which is pretty interesting. Again, especially given the COVID things. Um, the stick hearing one is also kind of interesting, kind of measures the ambient noise, um, sees if you're um, apparently in pretty loud, um, in a loud environment, um, but very responsive, um, I like it, a lot of it, didn't set up the Google Pay, like it wanted some permissions that I wasn't comfortable with, um, the Maps put does uh, really well on here, it's nice to have it, I end up using the Google Assistant quite a bit, um, just long press this. Hey Google, what's the high today? The high in Fort Mill today, today in Fort Mill, you can expect a high of 72 degrees. I have another assistant, which is probably what you heard there. Let me just do it again without the trigger word. What's the forecast for tomorrow? Tomorrow in Fort Mill, there'll be thunderstorms with a high of 82 and a low of 54. So, uh, very snappy, uh, responsive, I like it. Um, does the audio controls, uh, again, shows the map shortcuts. Um, you can program this button down here for whatever you want it to be. This is for the um, activity, for the exercise app. Shows notifications down here. Um, so, um, overall, very pleased um, with the uh, TicWatch Pro 3 GPS.